guys, it's your girl Andy Crimson with Mukbangs and Hangs. How you guys doing? Um, I'm so excited today. Today we're having a 90s pizza party 200 sub special because we made it to 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I'm stoked. Like I set this tiny goal for myself and I was like, you know what? By the end of the year, I think we'll hit it. And we exceeded that or we sped that up, you know, whatever. I'm just so excited um, to share this themed meal with you guys. Um, today we've got Little Caesars, prove that right here, we've got some ranch, got Capri Sun because it's not a pizza party unless you've got Capri Sun, and for dessert I found these Dunkaroos at Walmart the other day, and of course, Cosmic Brownies. So yeah, I just want to get into it because you know I love pizza and it's a super special day, so let's just get into it. Now, I know maybe Pizza Hut might be a little bit more like 90s themed, you know, just because of the aesthetics of the restaurant back in the day. But in the 90s, Little Caesars partnered with uh, Kmart. And they, they had like these little eateries inside their stores. I remember going there when I was a little kid and just the smell, the wave of the cheese and just the breading. It just had that certain like smell, you know, if nostalgia, I think takes many forms, sometimes in a smell or taste. And I think that's why, you know, this was the perfect thing for me. So get a load of this bad boy and get another thumbnail. <laughs> I took some shots earlier, so maybe we'll see if we use those. Dip it in the ranch. Yeah, boy. Alrighty guys, first bite. It's so good. I don't know if this is, um, they're hot and ready because it wasn't listed like that online. It's like the extra most bestest pizza or something like that. It looks like it has not the normal amount of pepperoni and cheese, but cheese is really thick. Bread is super soft. Mm -hmm. mm. So how was y'all's weekend? Labor Day weekend, right? I managed to have like a three-day weekend, so that was pretty nice. Took a little mini trip with my, my siblings. Went to like look at some antique stores and shopping and stuff like that. That was the first time in a very long time that I've been around a crowd. I was wearing a mask, even though it was really hot. I felt safer that way when we were outside. It wasn't too bad. You know, everybody kind of kept their distance and things like that. Oh, shininess, this cheese. I did have like a little bit of a low point this weekend. I mean, it was one of those days, I guess, you know, going through the feels, but after sitting with myself and like talking about it a little bit, 
meditating. I feel a lot better. You know, what I've learned, you know, through talking about it, you can't change certain situations, you can't change people. All you can do is change how you react to something. So, I'm trying to follow that route. The last time I tried to do a pizza mukbang was with Pizza Hut. It was a fail. So I'm glad I got to <laughs> kind of bring it back. Bring a pizza back. So, I am a 90s baby. But I did most of my growing up and absorbing pop culture from what it was worth during the 2000s so technically i think i'm a 2000s kid um that's not like every story like i know some people that are born in the early 90s they got into all the music at the time but i was pretty sheltered you know only really listened to country tejano and like christian music so i didn't even really know who backstreet boys or instinct were i didn't know about that until like middle school My friends were like, oh, I had a crush on so-and-so. And I'm like over here in the corner like, I had a crush on a dragon. <laughs> like, okay. I didn't even know who Britney Spears was or anything like that. I got into music and pop culture like super, super late. But I was and am a big Disney fan. So there's that. So those who were born or grew up in the 90s, like, what do y'all miss about it? I feel like I romanticized 80s and 90s quite a bit. Just because there was just so, so much great music. Uh, fashion was really cool. I'm trying to, like, emulate that. Got this jacket for Christmas. I actually did, like, another video, which I'll link down below, kind of showcasing the things that I got, and this jacket comes out. What else was good in the 90s? Lisa Frank, Beanie Babies were really big. Mm. I think Nickelodeon was at its peak when it came to cartoons and stuff. I wasn't really into the Disney Channel. Not too much. Lucky number three. <laughs> so guys, I started watching Outlander. I started with the books like a couple years ago. And I just, I didn't have the patience. I couldn't get into it. So Outlander ended up being on Netflix. I started watching it. It's about a lady who travels back in time to like 17th century Scotland. Historical fiction, a little bit of romance, drama. It's pretty good. I'm a sucker for romance or period pieces. What else I miss about the 90s is um, locally there used to be these places. Like, I guess before it was like Dave and Busters and things like that. There was this place called Gorilla George's. I missed your friends. 
They had little carnival rides and arcades, but had so many birthdays there as a kid. Now into the main attraction. <laughs> I say main because I've never had these before. Growing up, I just never bought these. So it's vanilla cookies and vanilla frosting with rainbow, spr rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> oh, they're little. I expected them to be like four big ones. Where are the sprinkles? What is this? Trash! Okay, there's little cookies. And the supposed frosting with sprinkles. So we're gonna try that. They lied to me! Ah! It broke off. There's no sprinkles. Why does that taste like Play-Doh? Okay, don't lie. You know you guys have tasted Play-Doh and glue. That's what we did in the 90s. I don't know. It, it's got, you know, when you can taste the smell. I don't know if that's a thing, but this tastes like Play-Doh smells. One more just for good measure. I realize this may not be an authentic Dunkaroos experience because it's just like a pack. You know, not when they first came out. I don't know if they come in a bigger cookie, different kind of frosting, but that's whack, man. That's some that's whack. Okay. Maybe these can redeem our dessert today. <clears throat> I have had these before. It's been a while, but I've had them. Let's cleanse the palate. It's good, okay, but it's too sticky. <laughs> Way better than that, for sure. So guys, thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart for getting us to 200 subscribers. It means the world to me. I, I don't even know how we accumulated so many so fast, but it's been a real honor and pleasure like having this space with you guys. So if you would like, please go ahead and like, comment, and share on these videos, and I will get back to you. You know I love talking to you guys in the comments. And if you're new here and you've stayed through the end, thank you. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Don't forget that I've got my merch link down below as well as this particular card tray and my resistance bands that I use to work out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because you never know what I'm gonna drop there until we get a thousand subscribers where I can create a community tab for you guys and we can post the updates here. So until next time, bye.